This is how the police in Pakistan have been treating people. We have been assaulted by the police multiple times, had guns pointed at us, and even been chased with a stick. And all of this without any proper reason or provocation. And when confronted, the police's response to this was... So what are you doing here? Look at that! No white people, huh? Alright, so first, a bit of background. My name is Alex. I've been cycling around the world since 2022, and for the past two months, I've been crossing Pakistan with two other cyclists. Due to safety concerns in some regions of Pakistan, most foreigners traveling overland are assigned a police escort. This is usually a few police officers who will change every 20 to 30 kilometers with a vehicle who will follow you. For the past month, we have been dealing with many corrupt officers, and we were fed up of it. We planned to change our route and cycle into another jurisdiction so that we could have better escorts who might not harass us as much. In response to this, we were assaulted, you fight me. had police vehicles rammed into our bicycles, our property damaged, multiple attempts to try and make us crash intentionally, and then even chased with sticks and had guns pointed at us when they realized that we had filmed evidence of their abuse. The policeman who assaulted us then stole my camera, which was the only evidence we had against them, and tried to drive away. I got into the back of the van to try and get the camera and the evidence back. They started speeding dangerously down a highway with me hanging in the back and refused to stop. I was forced to jump from a moving vehicle in fear of my own safety. They would not stop and I had no idea where they would be taking me, considering I'd already been assaulted many times, so I exited the vehicle the only way I could for my own safety. By the time I made it back to the place of the assault, more police had arrived, and some media too. We took this opportunity to force their hand and convince them to bring back our camera. But even with the video evidence, police refused to take us seriously and responded with things like Someone touched, he apologized. Okay, okay. Alexi, you are 20. I'm 47, I know better than you. We then tried asking them how to report an assault from police, since the emergency number in Pakistan led to a robot, and we couldn't get in touch with anybody higher up. Could you also explain to us what are the proper channels to go through for reporting uh, physical assault from police officers, not from... We have... Okay, I have video evidence of me and of Moti being assaulted by police officers. For, going to assault you. We have already been assaulted. I have the evidence to... We have already been... Video evidence. I could show you if you want. Assuming I had the video evidence, right? What would be the proper channels to report this? Because I cannot report it to the people who already assaulted us. <laughs> and on our second attempt to get an answer, they told us to use social media as our voice. There are, there are so many channels. Does it not help saying this? You can use your voice. You have a voice. So, just to confirm, you are saying that the best way to apparently report a physical assault by a police officer would be to use social media. You can, you can. How can I report? Who to? I will tell you later. We then requested to speak to the head of Punjab police, but all we got were condolences and jokes about us. So what are you doing here? Look at that! They're white people, huh? Evidently, they found it much funnier than we did. Over the next few days, we had many escorts who presented us with traditional shawls and similar gifts, which we had no choice but to accept. While they filmed and sent these videos straight to the media to try and portray the message that our issue had been resolved. They even tried to get us to cheer Punjab police in the bad on video, which translates to long live Punjab police, which of course we refused. Despite sending our story to every major outlet in Pakistan, few of them dared to post any of our evidence, informing us that they were under pressure from the police and that some journalists had been arrested for trying to share our story. These are just three of the officers we have evidence against, but we were harassed, lied to and assaulted by dozens more. Since the government won't and the media cannot, please share this story so that people are aware and know the risks.